Hello and welcome. This is Ghost Dimension. Coming up on Ghost Dimension. There's something going on. <gasps> I heard that. Yeah, yeah I heard that. Was Down response, there. Yeah. That was. Said, Jenny, come closer to us. All the equipment is going off. There's noises everywhere, like shuffling. This is a lockdown. Come and get me. Welcome back. This is Ghost Dimension. Let's take a look at what happened last time. So the hand dryer in the women's toilet, which is locked, is going off, on and off, by itself. It's out of order. Do that again one more time. It's louder. Do you want us to stay tonight? Do it again if you do. This just happened while we were just talking. So we headed straight over. He touched people. He will make himself known. He's yeah. quite audible. Um, he can use his voice. He'll, I think you'll get little whistles as well from him. What? Things like that. Is there anybody in here with us? I heard that. I really did. I really, really did hear that. That was a rumble. Is that what you've been hearing all night? Yeah. This is mental. This amount of... Um... Paranormal activity as soon as... Story. Many people have passed through the doors of the museum throughout the years, so it comes to no surprise to the Ghost Dimension team that this place is allegedly haunted. Tonight we continue our investigation at Leeds Museum, which houses artefacts from around the world. Have the items arrived here with attached spiritual visitors, or are we dealing with two different types of hauntings? You know, when you are investigating somewhere and it starts to get a bit scary and you start to feel the hairs on the back of your neck, they stand up, that's what's happening to me. Only because I'm seeing these shadows and I want you to see them. If I see them, I want you to see them. Let's go over here and check this out and see if we can get somebody to come and communicate. Maybe we can, maybe we can't get anybody else. Okay, so I've um, had a little break and I've come back and done another lone vigil in the area where Lee got the little boy Christopher. So I'm trying to communicate with him in this area because it was quite apparent that he was around before when the hand dryer was going off and that's just down there. Just down there. Let me see what happens if I zoom in for you. Might go fuzzy because of all the lights. Yeah, it goes fuzzy. It's just down there, the toilets are there and the hand dryer was going off. I have with me a REM pod, the device that I took to the mummy room because <clears throat> negative and positive and another REM pod there and also the ovulus which I'm going to turn on now. I just can't believe how active it is. <laughs> 